today. A random player will inherit this large estate in Los Santos, and my group and I will be pretending to haunt him the entire video. Now, this is where the surprise comes in. There's nothing really supernatural. There's no ghosts. There's nothing. So basically nothing will happen to this player, but they'll think that this will be a normal video of mine where I haunt them and terrorize them and whatever else. For a while, I've wanted to do this idea, making players think they're being targeted by a supernatural creature, but in reality, nothing ever happens. So I'm gonna go call a player, tell them that they've inherited this estate behind me and a bunch of assets, and we're gonna begin the fake haunting. Let's get right into it. All right, so right now we're going to our first inheritor. The first person on the list to inherit at the estate is this girl here with the black bag on. Her great uncle just died, so I gotta go inform her. Excuse me, Miss Brown, your great uncle has died. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry to bear you such horrible news, but you were on the will to inherit his estate. I had you deliver this in person as you were not picking up the phone calls. Okay. Inside is the key to the house, as well as the deed to the estate. Okay, thank you. She has no idea how to take the news. She's just sitting there like in shock. Her great uncle's tied. She's like, when did I have a great uncle? Yeah. Let's go. So right now she has the deed in hand and she's taking her ambulance EMT co-worker to the house. Who knows what will be waiting for them. Right there, right there at the gate. Oh, they're pulling up to the gate. It's gated? All the fancy cars okay. around. All right, they're approaching the house. Um, hello. Pastor Brown, welcome home, madam. Hi. Please, please find your way inside. Okay. Um, I'm confused. Who is this relative? Supposedly my great uncle? I didn't know I had a great uncle that lived here. I knew it. I didn't even know she had a great uncle. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Where'd he go? Um, Would you care for a drink? No, I'm good. I'm still on duty. Kitty cat? I heard a kitty cat. Oh, she just heard a kitty cat. I didn't even know he lived in Los Sen in Good afternoon, Master Brown. I feel like I'm in a dream. Good afternoon, Master Brown. Hi. I swear he just came out of that other room. Go through that door twice. Oh, he just noticed. This is like the Matrix. I'm like... Good afternoon, sir. Could I get you anything? A glass of water, perhaps? Oh, uh, no, I'm okay. Of course, sir. What is going on upstairs? I hear creaking. Good afternoon, Master Brown. Good afternoon, Master Brown. What the hell? Welcome to the guest quarters, madam. I was just tidying up the room. My apologies. No worries. That must be him. That must be him. The owner of this house. The great uncle. So right now I can guess. They're thinking they're probably going to be haunted by something paranormal. I thought I'd inform you. The other Master Brown before his unfortunate passing took care of a few felines. You'll have to go out and buy some cat food as we are low. Um, I can pick up some cat food. Wonderful. I shall prepare dinner. Okay. Oh my god, oh, this is the purple room. We call this the purple room. We set it up to be purple. Uh, no real explanation as to why. Um, okay, um, kitties. I bet you're hungry. Where are they? Hello, Master Brown. Oh my god, dude. Talk about creepy. Where are your cats? Goodbye, sure. Master Brown. Good afternoon, Master Brown. Everywhere she goes, good evening. Goodbye, Miss Brown. Um, okay, so I think we need to go get the cat food, and we'll swing it back by here before we head back to the hospital, okay? So long, Master Brown. If this is a setup. Maybe they're gonna rob our ambulance. Like the mafia, like the Rosetta family, you know? They think the mob is behind this? Dinner shall be ready when you return. Okay. Yeah, let's go get the <laughs> They're so food. freaked out. They probably think something awful is about to happen, but like nothing ever will. Oh my God. Master Brown, I took the liberty of refilling your van and changing the air in all tires. Okay, thank you. Okay. She's like, I didn't even know I had a great uncle to start with. Didn't know I had one in LS that just died. Now I have this butler everywhere I go. All right, so they're grabbing cat food right now at a local gas station. So I'm thinking we take the cat food in and then we head uh, back to the hospital seeing that we had a call. She's saying that they're gonna like drop off the cat food and then say they have to rush out to a call. Let's take it in. 
Why is there a chair just in the middle of the floor? You go ahead and sit on the chair. I'm, I'm not sitting in that chair. Oh, severe thunderstorm warning. They can't leave. Well, I guess we'll stay here. Kitty, 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 kitties. Good afternoon, Mrs. Brown. I, I had the cat food. Fantastic. I shall take care of the cats. Here you go. Thank you, Master Brown. Dinner shall be ready shortly. Have you not heard? What? Ah, a storm of the century rolling into Los Santos. Let's settle in, Master Brown. No, it's dangerous I'm... out there. Oh, I'm still emergency services. I have to be ready to go if I have to go. Well, Master Brown, I'm afraid someone is going to need to stay here and take care of the estate. Uh, I can't stay here around the clock. At least stay for dinner. Good evening. Ah. Good evening. Oh, she's trying to leave. She's trying to leave. It's haunted. It's haunted. What the? She's it's haunted. Brown. Yes. Is everything all right, Master Brown? We gotta oh, no. call. We gotta go. Is there a problem? Yes. Somebody's dying. We gotta get to the hospital. We gotta go pick him up again in the hospital. It's a shame you can't stay for dinner. We'll be back as soon as we're done with the call. The only EMS on in the server right now. Oh, what the? Oh. She's freaking out. It's oh, perfect. Oh, Just mop it outside, literally in the rain. Good evening, sir. Good, Good evening, Master Brown. Hi. Lovely weather outside. Yeah, just peachy. You wouldn't have any keys to the gate, would you? Keys. The front gate keys, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. The front gate keys, yes. Hi. I, I will go look for you, Master Brown. Okay. She's like, can you go find the gate keys? I'm like, yes, yes, I'll go find it. I'm never gonna find it. There's some, like, witchcraft. Witchcraft? I'm offended. This is not witchcraft. What do you mean, witchcraft, sir? Nothing. nothing. Is there a problem, sir? Is everything all right, Master Brown? Yeah, yeah. Um, somebody's just wondering where we are. Oh, it's not bombs. It bombs. seems that these puddles keep forming. Yeah, it's raining. Good evening, Master Brown. Oof. All right. I think it is best advised we get inside the house at once. Master Brown. Oh, my goodness. I just mowed this grass. Get inside, Master Brown! Oh, my... All right, so during a windstorm, we moved the ambulance inside the garage. So we're keeping up this very tense atmosphere, but there's never gonna be any solid proof of anything bad going on. We're gonna make them go crazy. I can imagine I'm just like the senile butler with amnesia. The water keeps forming out there, no matter yeah, how many right. times I mop it. So is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. But if you need me, I'll be mopping outside. There's some mysterious witchcraft. They keep claiming witchcraft. There's a cat. <laughs> Master Brown, is everything all right? You seem terrified of something, miss. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fun. I it's heard fun. your friend say there is witchcraft about. That's complete nonsense. Sir, are you all right? Sir, you yeah. seem to be panicking quite heavily. Do you need a rest, sir? We have multiple guest rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me, sir. We'll get you a nice change of clothes. Your clothes are soaked. Come downstairs when you are ready, sir. Yes. Do you need anything, Master Brown? Um, well, we need to go. Master we Brown. actually have a call. Why don't I have you at the headquarters? I have your friend changing into some dry clothes. Let's get you fitted out with some better clothes. Okay. The nasty storm out there. Yes, I should continue washing down here. Ah, oh, it should be this one right here. All right, Master Brown. Let's see what I can find for you in the wardrobe. Master Brown, I shall be waiting outside. If you need anything, I shall be downstairs. Okay. Dinner shall be ready oh. soon with white wine. This doesn't look like anything I would ever wear. Oh my God, the chair is out here again. <laughs> What's going on? She's so confused why there's a chair out here. Master Bartholomew, Master Bartholomew, can you help this gentleman with some appropriate attire for dinner? This won't do at all. Thank you, sir. Master Brown, ah, looking lovely this evening. Oh, this won't do at all. Let's get you a suit, sir. Dressing for the burger shot, are we? Why are the butler staring at him when he's supposed to be changing? What is going on? You guys mind, you know, stepping out? Would you mind stepping out for a moment? I'm trying to change. Oh, that's eerie. It's, it's... So we told them they're going to be having a lamb dinner, but when they taste it, it's not going to taste anything like lamb. And when they ask what it is, we're not going to tell them what it is. Find a seat, sir. I shall serve you momentarily. 
making the stew on the stove top. Nobody will know what it is. I like how we've kidnapped the only two EMTs online right now to be in this quote unquote haunted house. The meat will be ready shortly, sir. That is so ominous. What is he calling? Oh god, what's the butler taking outside right now? The butler is just walking by with this sauce trash bag. Do not inner sign on a bookshelf. Hello? Yes, I don't know what's going on. Um, there's like, the gate's locked. Like it- So your problem is you're at a big fancy mansion with a butler. The locked gate. Do you think maybe you're in an episode of Big, uh, big Brother? Oh my god, maybe you're on national TV. Holy. Oh, I'm so jealous. Maybe you should search for like hidden cameras or stuff like this. Why don't you come to 641? You know? Because there's a fucking storm outside. Also, I'm on duty. I'm like working right now. Well, I guess I'll talk to you later. No. <laughs> Here's the banging oh, behind the bookshelf. Oh, uh, you might want to get in here. He's calling her in there. I think we should enter it. I'm gonna go in. Oh my god, we have a whole labyrinth under here. Oh my god. A rusty door. What the hell is this? <laughs> Who is this guy with a gas mask? She's just so confused right now. Okay, um... There's something about this place. You think? You think? Really? Honestly, I don't know what to do. Oh my god. How do you do it? Um, um, do you need help removing the mask? Dinner is served. Um, what? Oh, he just found the room. The room with the marks up the wall. <laughs> like a prison cell in here. I would come in here. Oh. What? Something seems very odd. Is everything alright in here? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just fun. Ah, I'm sure you are questioning this. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Your great uncle, Mr. Brown, was a artistic man. I honestly am not sure what this is, but it's how he expressed himself. He had gone mad before he died, you see. Okay. Suffered from a great illness. Said he could see things. All I know is before he died, he drew these down to his very last day. But he made sure to let me know the house was yours. I hope everything has been to your liking so far, Mrs. Brown. Let's get you upstairs. This is a creepy room. I don't want to be down here. Okay. Right, let's get you some fresh dinner. Get off the table. Shoo! Shoo! Your great uncle insisted on naming her Paulina. Paulina? Why does that name sound so familiar? What the hell was that? that? Kitty kitty. Is the stew to your liking, madam? That? Oh, it's just the pipes. Okay, um, oh, that doesn't sound like pipes to me. Is the stew to your liking, madam? Yes, yes it is, thank you. Care for a refill? No, I'm good. Hi, kitty. Pet the kitty. Yeah, Cat warm. is cold. Oh, why are you cold? Okay, you need to go lay down somewhere. Good kitty. It's a little weird. The cat's very cold. Can I get you anything else, sir? Oh, uh, I don't feel so good. Would you like some medication, Master Brown? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just feeling a little woozy. All right. I suppose it is time for bed. I'll clean up these dishes. Thank you. Oh, this wet soon. There's just infinite puddles outside for some reason. No matter what I do, it just keeps coming back. Uh I think it's wet. It's raining, so that's probably why everything's wet. When was it raining outside? You're saying it's raining. Are you sure it's raining outside? Yes, I hear it. But are you really sure that it's raining outside? I hear the rain. How do you know? I was outside in it a little bit ago. I ask of you to think on that. We shall convene it later. Okay. Um, Joe? Tell me, tell me that's not what I think it is. Red stain on carpet. Uh, I, all right over here? Yeah. What's this stain? Oh my. And where did it come from? Oh. It wasn't here earlier. Oh, oh. good heavens. I'll get them up. Another wine spill. I'll get this wine spill cleaned up immediately, Mrs. Brown. I am so sorry about all the mess today. Why is there another chair here? What? Revolver uh, on the nightstand. Yeah. 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 yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Fully loaded revolver on the nightstand. Yeah. I think we need to escape. They need to escape for what reason? Why oh, is that noise? It's driving me crazy. He took the revolver. I think we just tried to get out of here. What do you think? Okay, so the guy has the gun. They're trying to plan an escape right now. I feel like he's gonna end up killing one of the staff, even though we've done nothing wrong to them whatsoever. I think I think we need to just like go. Okay, he's got the gun. Oh, we're baiting them so hard into killing us, even though we're not even doing anything wrong. Well, yeah, um, 
there's there's red stain on the desert. Red stain? Are you sure it's not wine or something? Like somebody spilled something? No, like it's blood. Are, are you sure? I mean, maybe somebody had like a you know like a nose plate or something. He's found a exploded revolver on the nightstand. I, I can't really I can't really hear you right now. Oh shit. Just Shall I order some more cherry blood wine, madam? Uh, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm oh. just gonna step outside for a little bit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's freaking out on the porch. We, we've done nothing but feed these guys, give them nice clothes, and they're just trying to break out. They expect us to right be haunting sir? them. Gotta be, there's the guy with the top hat that doesn't talk to me. He's following me. This place is giving me some really fucked up bobs. I'm, I'm terrified. Try. Absolutely. There's no way out. Not even over the gate? I tried. The gate, the fence, anything? They're guarding it. He's outside the gate. It's all through people. He's supposed to be inside. Let's just take a nice walk and look around Half a little bit, okay? rooms to your likings. Yes, they're they're fun. Thank you. Ominous neighbor. We're going to take a quick ride in the car, okay? Have fun. Enjoy it. Oh, they're trying to leave with the car. They so Oh, that's a classic. Oh my. That's a classic. Oh my goodness. Are you two all right? Are you all right? Oh no. That's quite some fender damage you got there. Looks like a blown this headlight. Is great uncle's favorite car, Master Brown. That's okay. We're going to have to car to go get some more cat food. And the gate will need unlocked. The keys, man. We cannot find them. We cannot find the keys to let you go. I believe they were left in the quiet room. Where's that at? I don't know where that is. Master Please. Brown doesn't allow us in the quarter. Dude, look at that ominous neighbor. Oh my god. I wonder what his story is. You seem distressed. Perhaps I can get you some more stew. No, I'm okay. Perhaps some more wine? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, it's getting late. Follow me to your quarters. Uh, we need the keys. To your quarters, please. Yeah, I your PJs. I shall lay them out for you. If you need anything, I shall be downstairs. This house is so eerie right now. I love it. And we're only doing such a nice thing to them. We ain't like doing any haunting, no paranormal stuff. They just think that it is. All right, lights out. If you need anything, we shall be downstairs. She's running for the high hills right now. I can hear you yelling. Master Brown, Master Brown, to your quarters, please. Everything will be all right. It was somebody outside the window. Nonsense, Mrs. Brown. Nonsense, nonsense. Please, please. Ah, there you are, sir. Is everything all right? Dude, what an ominous, creepy looking face. I just remembered. This is Brown. It's time. Pepper, it's time. What? I bought the knife. Right? Knife? Come now. Time for what? <laughs> time for what? For what? It's time time for, for what? Oh my God. Way, He's got time. the gun ready. He's got the gun ready. I've sharpened the knife. It's time for the yearly the ritual. In order. It is time. Please have a seat. So sorry for the delay, Mrs. Brown. It shall commence shortly. No, uh, no, I'm, I'll, I'll stand. I'll stand. He's coming. It's time. It's oh, time. so exciting. Oh my God, he's got the knife. Are you ready, Mrs. Brown? Are you ready, ready Mrs. Brown? What? The knife, Mrs. Brown. For what? It's time. Raises in the it's night. time. It's time, Miss Brown. Wait. The cut. Make the cut. Oh my God. He says the gun. He's going to shoot, I think. Everything is going to be fine. Time to make the cut. Is, is he going to shoot? Is he going to shoot? Pass me the knife. Hold out your hands, Mrs. Brown. Tears streaming oh. down eyes. This guy's not shooting. Do you have anything left to say, Mrs. Brown? Oh my God. Oh my God. He's aiming the gun. He's aiming the gun. And now. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh. 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 Happy birthday! What the hell is going on in here? What the hell is going on in here? Oh, I just wanted oh. to give you your cake! Oh. I bought the cake, I'm sorry! I, I had to light it with a matchstick and it got wet! Because the mop landed oh, on the matchstick! 
What happened? Someone called an ambulance. What happened in here? I to let you make the first cut, Mrs. Brown. I'm so... What has happened in here? Oh, my... Oh, Charlie. Charlie. No, Charlie. 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 Put pressure on this. What kind of monster no. are you? What kind of monster I, are you? Wearing Master Brown's PJs. Put that gun cake. down on the table. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Bunch of monsters. Your uncle... Would be ashamed. No, 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 no. Goodness gracious, what has happened? Oh my gosh, he just fainted. He had the keys in his pockets. All right, the cops are rolling up right now. Uh, okay, the cops are searching the house. But really, no haunting or horror ever happened. And we made a guy shoot a butler for doing nothing wrong. We've completely baited them into thinking that something awful is going to happen. But they were the ones that did the awful thing. He was a nice man. He, he got shot. I saw it. Blood, I came in with the cake. I don't understand. The officer is in the house. He's dead. So an update of the investigation of our first murder here is that the police are currently looking for the assistant of Miss Brown, the man who shot Crow the butler. They have no idea where he went right now. Nothing seems out of place to me. Nothing's out of place because it's not haunted, not supernatural. They came in and committed a murder. How dare they? Inherit a house and then shoot the butler. Ungrateful. So the that? girl and the guy escaped. The police searching the house. They haven't really found anything too out of the ordinary. As a consequence of not doing anything supernatural, no ghosts killing everybody, we're now going to have to sue hey, them for the shooting game. our butler. Oh, All right, so now we have our second contender here who is going to be inheriting a very nice house. Our next target's name is Randall Robinson, who's driving this beater. Looks like he's running low on money. He's kind of going through a hard time. So we've decided to give him a shot at inheriting his great uncle's fortune, his great uncle. He never knew he had. Hello? Hello, is this Mr. Robinson? Uh, I guess it is. My name is Jonathan. I am a head at your great uncle's estate. Your great uncle has passed away and you've inherited his house. Great uncle? Your great uncle. He spoke very highly of you. Oh. We would like to give you the keys to his estate. Are you available? Uh, of course I am, yeah. Where do I need to head? Please head down to 844. I'll be there shortly. See you then. All right, so I've just told him to go to 844, the house. Look at his license. Get gapped. All right, he's going to go see what his great uncle left for him. Great uncle he never knew he had. I wonder what the estate looks like. That'd be pretty good. That'd be a good estate. He's looking forward to his new estate. So our goal really of this guy is to make him think he's in a scenario where he will most likely be killed. But the twist is we're going to make some him some actually the only horror really element in this story. We're going to try to make him kill somebody, I think. I think that's the best way. That's like the best goal of this. I think we're going to try to make him kill one of us like the previous EMT did. It's basically doing a horror video like I normally do, minus the monster, really. Just keeping them on edge the entire time it's hilarious man is this the state up here all right let's pull up to the gate very ominous butler opens the stairs closes hello this is a very fancy estate for him good afternoon master robinson if you'd like another car just let me know and i shall bring it around oh, will do will do dinner will be ready shortly sir should i fetch the headmaster for you sir uh, yeah, sure. Let me, let me meet Of course, sir. Right away. Mr. Robinson is here to see you, sir. Excellent. Bring him in. Of course, sir. Ah, Master Robinson, please come in. Is Master Robinson. Master. Yes, Jonathan. I am Jonathan. We spoke over the phone. Uh, yes, sir, we did. My condolences for your great uncle passing. He was a great man. Man, thank you. I mean, my mom never really talked about him. Some people claimed he laundered money, but that is an insult to his legacy. Yes, that is. I don't appreciate that at all. We're cattle farmers. Not, not to mention the drug side hustling and the women and all of that tomfoolery. We do not speak of that at this house. What? Your legacy is more important. Is there anything I can get for you, Master Robinson? Uh, you think I can get a tour of the house? Right this way. So this is the main hall. Right down there is the dining hall. We have uh, a few bedrooms in here. I believe this one is currently occupied, so we'll go to the next one. I mean, well, there's herb work here. Yes. 
many rooms in this estate for you and your future family. Do you have a family right now, Mr. Robinson? I uh, just have my cattle, that's about it. No cows in the house, please. I understand. Ah, oh, Master Robinson, I shall get your clothing ready for dinner. Would you fancy a nice soup, sir? Of course, of course, yeah. I shall put this in your quarters, sir. I've never been too, you know, fancy. Well, this is your life now, Master Robinson. Your great uncle has left you a massive fortune. Is there anything else I can get for you, Master Robinson? Uh, no. I'm gonna, um, go see if my suit's ready to be put on. Excellent. Oof, the lights. I'm gonna go investigate that. Master Robinson, please enjoy your time. Let me so know if you need seat. anything. Alright, so right now he is really comfortable in this house, which we gotta change immediately. We're gonna have, like, floor creaking sounds. We're gonna make things very ominous for him. Master Robinson, sir. I have gotten you your suit for dinner. Um, hang it on the door and I'll grab it. Of course, sir. Evening, Master Robinson. You're looking oh, dapper. Thank you, thank you. There was some... Do you know what that knocking was? There was some knocking in the head room up there. Like, a little thud. Oh, like I'm not two. sure. This house is a little dated. Are you going to the dining room right now? I'll go see if everything's prepared. I don't want to rush y'all at all. Oh, not at all, Master Robinson. If there's anything, please let us know. The should... lamb has been imported directly from Kyle Perico. Your great uncle, Master Robinson, was adamant that we get imported lamb. It's a shame wanna... what happened to him, sir. My condolences. Exactly, exactly what happened to him? Well, you see, not so long ago, your great uncle... Jeeves, Jeeves, we have to... It's been an emergency. We need to speak upstairs immediately. I suppose this story will have to wait for another time. Uh, pardon me, master. Yep, you're all good. It's better that he doesn't know. You're back. Yes, sir. Everything okay? Fantastic, sir. We are taking care of everything. Oh, useless butler stuff in the world. Guy's a little, I want to say a little weird. He's just doing his job. God, I'm not used to none of this. Uh, what? Wasn't he just outside? Good afternoon, sir. You said you wanted red wine, sir. Yes. All right. I shall head to the wine cellar. All right. Uh, another butler. <laughs> no. What was that? You was. There's no way. How many butlers do I have? No. Oh my God. What is that? It's like a big bang you just heard. Hello. It's good in here. I don't like this. He went from the smile on his face to owning a new house to now being absolutely paranoid. The house is old. He said it's old. Foundation moving. He said it's old, old house. He did say. I don't know. Oh, there you are. Everything good? He nods. It's not the same butlers before. Butlers disappeared in the basement. I didn't even know there was like an apartment there. What? Where did he? How does he keep? He's a fast butler. Look at the office. I forgot about this. What was that? <laughs> Sounds like a gunshot. It's old house. Is old house. Is old. Is somebody walking? Please be the butler. Hello. Hello. Is there an attic? Sound like somebody what dropped a grandfather clock. No. 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 Butler. Butler. It's a big house. House is big. House makes noise. So we just started playing these like ticking sounds that are very low Old to hear. This guy right now is probably losing his mind slowly. I also just put a chair ominously down in the middle right. of the hallway. Right. <laughs> He's so uncomfortable right now. Butler, what's going on? It seems a storm has knocked out our power. Dinner may be delayed, unfortunately, sir. That's fine. It was just, where'd you go? You couldn't find you. I must take care of some things, sir. All right. Um, God, man. All right, that chair was not right there. <laughs> that chair wasn't right there. I know I'm not crazy. That chair was... It was a Nox again. It's not again. Old house. Oh. Dude, this is ominous as hell. There's a noise. Oh, what? What is this? Uh, all right. If the lights are flickering, why is the TV working? There's somebody upstairs? Butler? <laughs> it's fine. TV's off, everything's back to normal. Ah, good afternoon, sir. There you are. So terribly sorry for the delay. Let me get a dinner ready for you. I'm sure you're famished by this point. It's almost time. Oh. It is almost time. I'm quite excited for this. I hope he enjoys this. How goes it, Master Robinson? 
it's pretty good. The lights were flickering, and that TV, I, I don't know where that TV came from. But we'll have yeah. somebody check on it for you. I'm going to go talk to the other butler. One second. The other one? He's like, the other butler? He's like, wasn't the other one just go out the other door? Okay. He found the basement. He found the basement. Um, I'm crazy. I'm not crazy, no. It's terrifying in here. A hell happened in here. Is there blood on that? It's almost time for dinner, and right after dinner, we will begin. <laughs> it will be a fun time. I'll get the tools ready. I'll get the sharpening stone. Oh my god, he's looking in a body bag. Not my great uncle. I barely knew the guy would. Master Robinson! Yes, I'm right here. I was in the office. Dinner is served, sir. Freshly cut lamb. The red wine, as you requested, will be out momentarily. I don't like what I saw down there, man. There's something off about the basement. I just... Hey, um... Let's eat, sir. Headmaster! Dinner is served! Do you have the wine? Yes, of course. Good afternoon, sir. Your fresh wine, sir. Yes, yes. How many butlers are there? There's one or two. All right. There. Oh, my God. There's another one behind. Listen, how many, um, butlers do I have? Yes, you have us. Your estate comes with waiters, Mr. Robinson. There's one butler that's been walking around. He don't say much. Are you feeling all right, Mr. Robinson? I don't know. He is like on the edge of the sea right now. Oh. It's the time. Huh? It's time. What? It's time. Why is there... See, there's two of you. Butler's approaching. Have a seat. It's time. It's time. I have the tools ready, sir. Take a seat, Master Robinson. Oh, Sit so down, Master nice. Robinson. Please, this will be quick. The look on his great uncle's face when we did this was priceless. Oh, You're going know. to enjoy this, sir. Oh, I will go get the tool. I'm a little scared of the thunder. I'm scared of rain. So what happened to my, my great uncle again? Tool. This is going to be fun. What is Freshly sharpened. You playing sir. charades? Sharpen. What sharpen? Whoa, all right. Wait, wait, Giants? wait. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> look, I don't like this. Um, Mr. Robinson. This is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, you know, can I stand? I don't want to sit anymore. Yeah, you know. I don't. Please Stop. sit. Can you we put insist. the knife down? Sit down, oh, Mr. Insist. Robinson. Sit oh. down. Mr. Oh. Robinson, sit oh, down. Man, please, man. What's with the knife? Now place your hands upon the table. Hands? What are you going to do with my hands? Put your hands down. On the table. Place oh, your hands sit. upon the table. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. It's time. You're going to enjoy this. Enjoy what? What are we doing? Wait, 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 No, 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 no. It's time! Sit down with me, get away from me, get away from me. I don't know you! Oh my god, he's got the gun, he's got the gun! Mr. Robinson, please take your seat. It's time, Master Robinson! It's time! Take a seat! Take a seat, Master Robinson! It's time! It's time, Master Robinson! I want to shoot you, I want to shoot you, please! It's time, Master Robinson! Get away from me with the knife! It's time, Master Robinson! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my goodness. I just wanted to give you your dessert cake. <laughs> no, no, you animal. Why would you shoot him? Yeah, take him with the knife. Oh my God, call an ambulance immediately. Stay with me. Get away, you animal. You shot him. What I is the matter with you? He came at me with the knife. Jeeves, Jeeves. I didn't know. No! Gee! <laughs> he came at me with the knife. I told him to stop. You monster! I you didn't... did not deserve this estate! Your great uncle would be ashamed of you! I didn't even know the guy! You murderous Steve! You A stole thief? his what life! Else do? His life was dedicated to serving you! <laughs> He's not dead! You He's stay here! Playing. The police are on their way! No, no, I can't go to jail, man. Dude, he has to live with this murder now. He's just showing up to the house. Don't worry, I got back up. There you are. Please, enter immediately. He, he right. shot, he shot our butler. Him, the gray suit. Where, where's the butler, sir? Where's the butler? He's laying dead not. in the dining room I, floor. He came at me with a knife. He was cutting he came your, at me with a knife. He was cutting your cake, sir. You pulled out a gun and shot For him. Who killed who? Who was it? He I shot the anyone. butler. Look, Place away look. From me, son. He's getting arrested. It all happened so quick. You need to tell us exactly what happened so we can make an arrest. Mr. Robinson inherited this house from his great uncle. We've worked for his 
great uncle for many years. He called Esther Robinson down here a few hours ago, congratulating him on his inheritance of this house. Turned rather fatal, I'm afraid. I would be happy to get a new house. I wouldn't turn to murder. That's a weird uh, motive, to say the least. As we were trying to give him a celebratory cake to his first night here, he sh shot my friend over there. It was a good day for him. He's inheriting a mansion, and he turned to murder. Why exactly? That is a great question. I do not know. Oh. Pass out, man. Hey, Wilson. Wilson. He started talk to him, just walking away from him. I didn't do anything, I swear. I I, I didn't shoot anyone. So who shot him? All right. I blacked out. I blacked, blacked out. Oh my god, he's died. starting to lie now. You inherited uh, this giant mansion, so you decided to party hardy with drugs. Did anyone, hold on, so did much anyone read his rights? You can't remember what happened, so you shot uh, and killed um, him. And the, the last thing I remember is he was coming at me with a knife, and then I blacked out. And then I woke up, and the guy was on the ground. So you're I telling me you just blacked out randomly, and the guy ended up dead? I, you know, man. You know, you, I don't you breathe know. heavy. You you know. Okay, I say don't you're know. Gonna... Really I just need first. you to I'm follow my finger without moving your head, all right? They're testing to see okay. if he's high or drunk. Okay. He's I, going to the interrogation room with me. No. No, oh my come gosh. on, man. So they put the guy in cops to think he's going to jail. Mr. Robinson has been taken to jail. Secrets that you